Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now I just got a box in today and I was assuming that it was the Mohawk uh, Zombie from the 1985 movie The Return of the Living Dead. Now he's not in the actual movie but he is in the part of the uh, poster concept art which I'm going to show you here. It's in the tag. Uh, but it, I'm glad it came in because I was waiting for this thing to come in because it's a very cool looking mask. I watched this one YouTuber, he was showing his mask on his wall. And he had one of these on the wall, and I didn't know what it was. So I did some research, and I'm like, holy crap, they made a mask. So, obviously I bought one, okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing about that, because I was actually going to put it on pre-order, but obviously they were out for a while. And I went looking all over the internet for a decent price, and I couldn't find anything decent. And at the same time, they're hard to find, because, you know, people are buying them left to right. So I went on Big Bad Toy Store and found it to be available, so I said, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and buy it, and that's exactly what I did, okay? And it came in a couple of days later, and lo and behold, there you are, right here, guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of push this back so you can see the Mohawk. All right. So you can get an idea of what it looks like, okay? All right, so you know what it looks like now, so. We're going to get into the actual um, stuffing of this mask. One thing I've learned uh, when it comes to um, YouTube uh, YouTubers uh, stuff in their mask and stuff, styrofoam heads have a tendency to uh, to actually uh, steal the moisture from the mask. And you'll notice when we come back around that I do wrap the actual heads with plastic. I end up buying a bunch of the uh, styrofoam heads from um, Amazon, and they're usually plastic wrapped. As you can see, I leave the plastic on them. It's not a good thing to use styrofoam heads on your uh, latex mask because, like I said, it, it sucks the moisture out of the uh, mask and eventually they start cracking. You don't want that because you invest a lot of money into your masks, especially if you have a collection of them. All right. So it's good to actually wrap them with plastic bags or some kind of form of plastic or even saran wrap just so it doesn't make contact with the latex. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. If you want to preserve your masks, you got to kind of wrap the styrofoam heads because they will steal the moisture from the mask, okay? The Mohawk in itself, when you stuff this, okay, I put a lot of bags in this thing. The Mohawk is hollow inside. You could take a piece of soft styrofoam, the squishy kind like they put in pillows and stuff, and stuff it, or, you know, cut a piece out and then stuff it. You can glue it up in there because what happens with the actual mask in itself, according to some people, is that the uh, the Mohawk will collapse over time? And you don't want that. So just stuff the uh, the Mohawk with some plastic bags. Then put your styrofoam head on it. Then stuff the face and everything around it, and you should be good to go. And that's exactly what I did. I stuffed the uh, the Mohawk, and it took a lot of bags, but I got it in there. And this help. And what you do is when you, you gotta overstuff it, and just kind of squeeze it and shape it until you get the right uh, shape. You do that with the whole entire head and it'll come out perfect. But you gotta put a lot of bags in it, okay? Or a lot of plastic or paper. Um, that's your decision to make. I, I choose plastic bags because obviously we got a, bu a bunch of them, right? But this right here is the Mohawk Zombie from the movie uh, The Return of the Living Dead, but you don't actually see him in the movie, okay? So I will tell you that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna show you the actual poster art where this actual mask comes from, okay? So now, and while we got it off, I'll show you the details of this mask up close and personal. Now, as you can see right there, now you see the, uh, the zombie on the right, or according to what I'm looking at, okay? That's, and the female, we don't have that one. I'm sure they'll make a mask on that, but who knows, okay? <clears throat> but it's based on the zombie on the right hand side right there. Okay, as you can see the face is a little sunken in according to the poster art. Okay, this is the actual poster art for the movie itself. So let's go ahead and get into the actual details of this mask. Alright, now. As you can see the eye right here is blown out. Okay, it's defective. Alright. It's kind of, well it's kind of shut, that's what it is. 
This one is more or less blown out. He said, blah! <laughs> but it does got some fantastic colors. The colors really stand out on this thing. All right. I love the hoop earring on this thing. Okay, it's very cool looking. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. What I'm talking about this right here is we got to, you can't see me doing it, but the Mohawk in itself needs to be restuffed a little bit more. But it should be okay for the most part. So, I got to bring it down because the camera is really low. Okay. I can't find my other tripod. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, so that's what the Mohawk looks like. And I'll pull it back so you can actually see it. The detail on this mask is ridiculously very cool. The color scheme, everything stands out on this thing. Alright. The ear is completely deformed. And it's got a nice little scar right here. Right here. The back of it. As you can see, he's got a little defect right here. I don't know what that's from. How we got hit in the head with a hammer or something. Who knows? Or it's just a defect. But, but like I said, when it comes to the Mohawk, you got to super stuff it. And then you kind of pinch it until it retains its shape, okay? But make sure you put enough plastic bags in here that it will feel hard to the touch. Because uh, over time, it does break down. And if you're just going to use it for displays, uh, that's fine. Okay, that's that's the whole purpose of it for me. Uh, but if you want to wear it, I haven't tried it on. I'm pretty sure it does uh, fit. That's the one thing I failed to do. And I don't want to pull it out because i got all those plastic bags in it. Maybe some other time down the line I might just do that. But anyway, this is my Mohawk Zombie. Okay. And like I said about the... Um, the Mohawk, just make sure you super stuff it with plastic or styrofoam, whatever you want. Not styrofoam. It's like that spongy stuff that you find in mattresses and stuff. Cut out a piece and just, you can glue it up in there. Just so it retains its shape without it collapsing in on itself. Uh, because that's what they say after time, latex breaks down. But like I said, when it comes to preserving your masks, make sure that you don't um, just stuff a styrofoam head in it. Because it will pull the moisture out. And eventually what happens is your mask will start cracking because obviously it's getting dry. You want to preserve your mask. That's the key thing, okay? But anyway, this is my Mohawk Zombie, all right? It is from the movie um, Return of the Living Dead, which is a fantastic movie. I love that movie. Further down the line, I am going to get the Tar Man. He's probably the most famous thing in that movie. Next to the, um, I, I forgot what they call her, but she's the girl that gets... Uh, chewed up and eaten up by the zombies and turns into a zombie herself. That one's a little more pricier, but I definitely get that one from Trick or Treat Studios. That one looks absolutely cool too. I will get a collection of that going. The uh, the party skull, or the party skeleton that comes up out of the ground and starts singing, Do you want a party? I'm not too impressed with that one because of the tongue. In the movie, it does not have a tongue. So I don't know why, for the life of me, they decide to put a tongue on it. I'm sure there's a reason for it. But it just doesn't look, I mean, it just doesn't sit, sit well with me, so I don't think I'm going to get that one. But I'm definitely getting the Tar Man and that Zombie Girl. I'm going to definitely get those. And I'm not sure about any other ones when it comes to the Return of the Living Dead. But this one's very cool looking. I love the looks of this. And like I said, when I seen that YouTuber, his was hanging up on a wall. And I'm like saying, holy shit, that thing looks cool. And that's another reason why I bought it, okay? Because of the color scheme and the design of it. Uh, I believe this one was designed by Jason Mabry, I think they call him. Uh, he's the one that does the actual design of these masks, some of them. Anyway, but he does a fantastic job on this. The Mohawk really stands out on this thing. I love this thing, okay? But anyway, that's it for now. I don't have any more masks coming in right now. Uh, only because i got to watch what I spend now. You know, they typical family life thing where you got to pay your bills and get things under control but eventually we'll get things back on track once we get there uh, but in the meantime I will show you other things in my room I've been concentrating on that they're called Halloween bundles and I think I just did three of those and I'm gonna do a little bit more and pretty much concentrate on some of the stuff that are sitting on my shelf 
But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell because I definitely will be pushing out some more videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this mask. This is Pumpkin Heart. You have yourselves a good day.